Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills. And fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill. there were lots of these runs, or stampedes, as some called them. Behind each one of them was a story, and one of the most exciting is a story dealing with the Pawnee stampede. Hey, calamity! Excuse me, Mr. Copeland. Hey, what's the rush? You must have pretty exciting news. You bet I have. The land commissioner's coming on today. Say, best news we've had in a long time. Hey, Doc, he's coming. He's coming on today. Say, calamity! Can't you see I'm holding court? Now, as I was saying, Charlie. But judge. Calamity. The judge said he was busy. Now you mind. But Bill, this message. All right, young lady. What's so all fired important about that message? It just came over the telegraph. The land commissioner is actually coming to Wileyville. What's that? Say, she's right, Judge. That's what it says. Well, why in tarnation didn't you say so? The case of Mrs. O'Neill versus Charlie is dismissed. Now the court will pay for the missing apples in question. There's your money. I'd say you temper justice with mercy, Judge. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, Reverend, I borrowed some of Mrs. O'Neill's apples out of her orchard myself. And the best doggone apples in the county. Now, let me see that message. It's kind of hard to believe he's coming after all our fighting and hoping. And praying, Judge. The Reverend Jeff's been mighty anxious about this, too. Yes, we've been waiting a long time for the government to open up that Pawnee Strip for homesteading. And it'll sure bring a lot of business to Wileyville and to the store. Yeah, I know, but we, we better not build our hopes up too high. The message uh, just promises that he's going to take care of our request. He still has to make a decision, you know. Say, how about you two riding out and meeting the stage? A little buttering up won't hurt matters none, you know. We're on our way. get a reception he don't expect, Vic. Yeah, we ought to make quite a welcoming committee. Can't you trail those men who shot him, Bill? Oh, it's no use, Calamity. They've gone into Pawnee territory, and that's federal land. You mean those killers are safe there? As long as they stay in the boundaries of the Pawnee Strip, our law's got no jurisdiction. That's one of the reasons the judge wants it open for homestead. It's becoming a haven for every outlaw in these parts. Gosh, with the land commissioner dead, the Pawnee Strip will never be opened. That's just what whoever shot him thinks. But I'll tell you something. What's that? They're wrong. Ah, 
Rick. Stan. How did it go? Just like you planned. Good. I've just been telling Chief Whitebird here I'm going to take real good care of him and his people. Make sure nobody runs them off the land. As long as we pay in many skins. That's right, Chief, as long as you pay. If you don't, I'll have to let the great white father open up the Pawnee Strip for Homestead. And to drive you and your people right off. It's your choice. You make it. We pay. What happens when the chief finds out about the head rights? Uh, is he gonna find out? I'm the Indian agent here. All he knows about government policy is what I tell him. <laughs> I'm sure not gonna tell him the government's willing to give 160 acres to each member of that tribe if the Pawnee Strip is open for homestead. No, sir. I'm sure not gonna tell him that. Well, I guess this just about stops everything, Reverend. A man gets tired of fighting after a while. A lot of people are counting on us, Judge Wiley. We must increase our efforts to open the Pawnee Strip. You're not gonna give up now, are you, Judge? How can you fight something you can't even see? Oh, if I could get my hands on those killers. Just get them in my gun sights. That would mean only more violence, Judge. It isn't the way to win this fight. Well, what can we do? Reason and logic and faith still win battles. We've got to take our problem to the people. Preaching is fine, Reverend, in your church. Now look, I've been sitting on that bench a lot of years, and I've had to use logic and reason and faith. But sometimes you've got to fight fire with fire. Well, perhaps you're right, Judge. But right or wrong, my help will have to come in a different way. I ain't meaning to go against you, Reverend. I know you're not, Judge. But I've had a dream for a long time, owning a piece of that Pawnee land myself, to build a new church. But if I have to fight by the devil's methods, I want no part of it. I think we got the devil beat this time, Reverend Jeff. The answer's right here in this briefcase. Where'd you get that? Well, it's land commissioners. After we finished making out the coroner's report, I went through his papers. What are they, Bill? Well, it's written authorization for the judge to circulate a petition. Petition? Mm-hmm. If the judge can get 2,000 bona fide signatures on a petition, the request to open the Pawnee Strip will be granted. Oh, then we can go ahead with it. I don't see why not, Judge. Then all we got to do... 2,000? Why, there ain't that many people in this area. Unless you count the horses and the jackrabbits. We'll get those signatures, even if we have to contact every person in the county. Oh, oh. well, how? We can't get all them people together. Look, I've got a printing press at the church. We'll outline everything on a circular, a convincing sales talk, print them up, and distribute them throughout the county. Say, that's fine, Reverend. Come on, Calamity, you too, Bill. We, we've got a lot of work to do. Reverend, you know something? I'm beginning to think you got something. And darned if I don't think we can do it. I know we can, Judge. We've got a dream to sell. Yeah. And all we've got to do is find 2,000 buyers. <laughs> The next few days were busy ones for all of us. While the Reverend and I thought up what to say, Bill and Calamity loaded up the supplies we need for our campaign. That is, Bill and Calamity tried to load up the supplies. By the following day, we had close to a thousand circulars printed up, but the big job still lay ahead of us, distributing the printed word to every living soul in the territory. Bill and Calamity started circulating the news in town, handing out papers to all the town folks and tacking up word of the petition in all the conspicuous places. They're flooding the town with those things. I don't know how Copeland expects us to stop them. Well, we can stop by getting rid of some of those circulars. How's it going? Oh, it just swell, Reverend. We're putting these up all over town. Good work. Bill, look. Hey, leave those alone. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like, Sonny? We're just removing some of this trash from the streets. We're trying to keep our fair city clean. Well, maybe it'd be a lot cleaner if somebody removed you two. <laughs> you gonna try to do it, kid? Easy, Bill. This can be settled without a fight. Preach is right, Sonny. We just don't like what you're trying to do. Are you against our project, gentlemen? That's the general idea, Reverend. We like things the way they are. 
We don't want any homesteaders coming around. Destroying these circuses isn't very fair. You have a right to disagree with our ideas. But destroying someone else's property. Save it, preacher. We ain't much interested in what you think. Hey! Sorry, Sonny, I didn't see those. Maybe you see this better. Bill, stop! Oh, I'm sorry, Reverend. But I gotta defend myself. Sis. Let's get these two Jaspers back over to the judge. You're not mad at us, are you, Reverend Jeff? But we just couldn't let those men do what they were doing. I don't approve of what you just did, Calamity. But I must admit you did it up in fine style. The two men were mighty unhappy when I found them guilty of disturbing the peace and destroying our circlers, but the fines I imposed on them was just about enough to pay for all our printing supplies. Bill seemed to think they were tied up with the killing of the land commissioner, but there wasn't much we could do about proving it at the time. That evening, with Bill, Calamity, and the Reverend out distributing, I worked alone at getting out more circlers. Unfortunately, I had unexpected visitors. What do you want? Take it easy, Pop, and you get hurt. You can't do this. You'll pay the penalty for this. Lay it up for your choice, Pop. Destruction of property and violation of soap. Yeah, maybe I'll slow you down for a while. Did you get a good look at them, Judge? No, I didn't, Bill. They had masks on. But I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they weren't the same two fellas you tangled with in town. We'll get them, Judge. And when we do, there won't be enough money in the state of Texas to keep them out of jail. But what about the petition? Now we'll never be able to reach all the people. We'll reach them, honey. We'll tell them direct. We'll tell the folks to spread the word. Yes, why not? You could all be sort of deputy preachers, huh? Sure. And you can bet we'll preach the fanciest sermon you ever heard, Reverend Jeff. Our saddles were our pulpits. We talked and the people listened. Most agreed to pass the word along, knowing that opening the strip would help the whole territory. A lot of miles were traveled those next few days with both vocal cords and backsides getting a good workout. But the results were gratifying. Before the week was out, just about everyone in the territory had signed a petition asking the government to open up the Pawnee Strip. Thank you, Charlie. Much obliged to you. Is that all of them, Reverend? I think so. What's the total now, Bill? Well, with Charlie's, it's 1,999. Oh. Are you sure you counted it right? No mistake. We need one more signature. Well, good gracious. I thought every living soul had already signed this thing. Now, let me see. Great jumping prairie dogs. What is it, Judge? It's me. <laughs> I forgot to sign the blame thing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just got so plump busy, I guess, and just overlooked it. Ben Wiley. There we are. Number 2,000. We did it. We did it. No one can stop us now. Can they, Judge? No, sirree. We'll get this petition off right away. And from here on, it's just a question of time. <laughs> No use stopping it, boss. The Pawnee Strip's gonna be open for sure. All right, but it's gonna be a while yet. We can still make a payoff. How? As an Indian agent, you're not eligible to stake a claim. That's right. But when the run does come, we'll bring some of the boys over from Boulder City. Now, mind you, we can't stop the homesteaders, but we can sure delay them long enough for our boys to get the best land. What about Chief Whitebird? What are you gonna tell him? Well, I'll just have to convince him there's still a chance to stop the rush. 
Then I'll have to keep him convinced until the day it starts. It was just two months to the day after the petition was sent off that we got official word telling us the Pawnee Strip was being thrown open. People from all over the Southwest started pouring into Wileyville, filling our little town to most overflowing. And finally, the great day came. The rush was less than an hour away when we headed out of town. Me, Bill, and Calamity were just going along to watch the fun, but I think we were as excited as those like the Reverend who were really going to make the run. The months of hoping and waiting were behind us now. But though we didn't know it at the time, there was still plenty of trouble ahead. All right, now remember, when the stampede starts, you don't follow the straight line. You take the long way to Pawnee Valley and stake out the best claims. Are you sure they'll have enough time? Yeah. We're going to make time with this dynamite. Everybody else will be taking the short way to the valley through Thunder Canyon. Only when they get to Thunder Canyon, there won't be any way through. Stan, you and Vic will stay with me. You three boys get going. I want you in the starting line when that cannon goes off. Give me a hand with this stuff. We'll get it outside. Agent Copeland is the liar. Whitebird. Boss, he heard you. Stan, you're getting too smart. What do you want, Chief? Soldiers were in charge of starting the land rush to see that everyone got a fair start. But some people on the line didn't mean to play fair. I sure hope everything goes all right, Judge. Oh, stop worrying, Calamity. Nothing's going to go wrong. Nothing at all. Get the horses back out of the way and take cover. I'll be right with you. Bird. What happened to you, Chief? Much trouble come from Agent Copeland. You must ride past young Bill to Thunder Canyon. What's Copeland up to? Him down in my canyon. Have two other men with him. There goes the one minute signal. There'll be many killed if Copeland and his two men carry out their plan. We'll have to stop them, Bill. We? You riding with me? Yes. But what about the church site, Reverend Jeff? I'm afraid that'll have to wait, Calamity. Some extreme circumstances have come up at Thunder Canyon. Better get in the wagon, Chief.
going, Judge? There's no rule that says how far a man has to go over the line. So I'm staking out this claim for the Reverend's church. Well, sir, Bill and Reverend Jeff had to do some mighty fancy riding out distance that stampede. Copeland's men veered off to take the long way around Thunder Canyon. They made it through the canyon. Thunder Canyon almost lived up to its name, didn't it? It certainly did. And for a peaceful man, you sure pack a lot of thunder in your fist. Well, for the first and last time, I hope. Hey, what made you decide to ride with me back up there at the starting line? Well, when Chief Whitebird told us that there were three of them here to dynamite the canyon, I didn't like the odds. I decided to even them up. Well, there's still only two of us here. No, Bill. There's you and me and the good Lord. Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. 